my dear friend, to our reflection number four on celebrating God. On this reflection, I want us to reflect on how we can celebrate God through forgiveness. Maybe the fundamental question we need to ask is, where was God when I got hurt? It's always that philosophical question we ask. Where is God when things are going bad? And we forget that when God created us, he gave us the gift of freedom. That has never been taken away and it will never be taken away because it gives us the definition of the human persons that we are. But when we get hurt, we can choose two things. One, we can choose to get healed through forgiveness or mark time there and continuously hurt others and give that as an excuse that because I was so very hurt, I feel that I need to revenge. Remember one principle in spiritual development that you never forget, that hurting people hurt others. It is only healed people who go healing others. Maybe the person you have not forgiven for three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, is a person who is more sick, more broken than you are. And right now, you are telling us, you see, I can't eat, I can't do this, I can't even do that. Some will even go to the extent of even saying, I cannot go to that church because that is where the person hurt me. Let me ask you, who called you to be a Christian? That person or your God? That is how lack of forgiveness can drift us from our mandate in life as Christians to worship our living God. Learn to forgive and you'll be free. Learn to forgive and in all your things, you will be more inclusive, more human, and more Christ-like. I want to remember this, especially this time of Lent, because it is the moment that we need to tell ourselves that we need to be more Christ-like. Forgiveness is a discipline of every Christian. And as a Christian, you have a duty and a responsibility of removing yourself from jail. I keep on telling people, when you have not forgiven, you are just like somebody who is in jail and the door is closed and you are the one who has the key. People outside cannot rescue you. You are the only one who can free yourself. So, take a decision now. I hear people say, you know, Jesus said, we forgive and forget. It is not written anywhere in the Bible that you forgive and forget. It is only God who can forgive and forget. Forgiving and forgetting are two things. But we must learn to forgive when the time of forgiving comes. Sometimes it is difficult. And I want to agree with you. That is why it is important also to pray about forgiveness. I am sure as you watch this reflection, maybe you have not forgiven somebody for five years, 10 years, 20 years, and you feel stuck. You are not bad. You are just a human being who is struggling with the wood that you have. What I want to request you, stop waiting that the aggressor will ask for forgiveness. You never know. Maybe your aggressor is one person suffering from the disease we call pathological preoccupation with the self. Somebody who is so arrogant, so proud, so full of themselves, so indifferent, so aloof that they will never ask for forgiveness. For your own peace and healing and happiness, make a decision and forgive. And that way you celebrate God. I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K.